So here's a little follow-up on the uh, Keen Coven after seven or eight months. Uh, still have a lot of tread. Um, inside's beat up, but that's from my pedals. I have some like nasty grip on my pedals, so it kind of chewed up the inside there. I can't believe how much tread is still on these shoes after eight months. I just can't wear the tread out, really. Uh, I've been on the North Country Trail, I've been on the Florida Trail, I've biked over a thousand miles, I did construction in them. Um, man, they're like indestructible. Um, the fabric's starting to wear out before the tread wears out. I'm like, they're starting to look a little ugly, so I want to like toss them. But I like haven't even worn out the tread. I still have more adventuring to do, so I'm like, might as well just keep wearing them. Um, this is lasted, usually this part of a hiking shoe wears out pretty quickly. Had a little tear there. Other than that, they've been indestructible. Um, yeah, so, Keen Coven. I don't know if I'm going to go with it again after this, because it's a little too heavy. And when I pedal on my bike, every time I lift, I feel the weight of the shoe. You know, it's, I don't know how heavy it is, half a pound to a pound. You know, if you want to compare it to something that's a little less um, durable, like the Ultra, but is more breathable and light, you know, I'm kind of tempted to go back to like an Ultra, but as far as durability, um, the Keen, man, this is really, really, it really impressed me. And um, I guess it's a compromise because it's not the high top boot, so you're cutting down on some of the weight. Um, so if you go with the low cut, you still get all the durability of a boot without the extra weight. And again, I don't go with uh, waterproof shoes. I always go with something breathable. That way the inside can um, dry out if it does get wet. So that's the follow up on the Keen Coven. Happy trails. Uh, like, add, subscribe, comment. Check me out on Instagram, Lifecycle Hikes. Peace.